Hello YouTubers, welcome back to our channel, Busted Bolts, where we're constantly wrenching, repairing, rebuilding, restoring, almost, almost anything. anything, cool that is. Anyways, we got this old chainsaw, this old Chinese special that we pulled out of the garbage, uh, and the night we pulled it out, I could swear it pulled over, but as you can see right now, that is stuck. this baby's about as stuck as stuck can be. Anyways. We're going to tear this baby apart, and the goal for today is try to get her unstuck and make it run again. So, without further ado, we're going to get to tearing this thing down and finding out just what's going on. And I think for the side cover here, we're going to need like a T20 Torx. Start pulling these covers off this thing right now. Yeah, it's a T20. If you would, buddy, get me a flat blade screwdriver out of the box. Because I do believe we're going to need one. Try these covers off. Okay, first we're going to take off this pull starter and then see if we can try to turn the flywheel around by hand or force it around. See if we can make it move at all. Actually, we're going to pull the spark plug too. Like I say, we found this thing in the garbage, and <laughs> most of you watching the video may look at the brand of this thing and say that's where it should have been since it came out of its box, but it's a good sized blade. It was free if it runs, so we don't have to put nothing into it. Uh, we scored, right? Yep. Anyhow, let's pry this recoil starter off of here and see what's what. Come up just a little bit. I think we'll just be able to lift it right off. And so yeah, be it. Right there. There we go. Now, what is hanging up that flywheel? This thing gonna be. Ah, oh, wait a minute. She's turning now. What? Turn it backward. Now. I'm gonna pull the spark plug out. See if we get this thing to spin. There might just be something stuck here in the flywheel. see it wants to wants to turn a bit and it gets hung up right about there it's like there's something sticking in here it's got compression it's definitely spinning over Wow, that's a good sign. I thought this thing was stuck and we just maybe didn't check it right when we pulled it out. I don't know. Anyways, let's get, we're going to get this plug out of here in a minute and then we're going to get right back to you. Okay, welcome back. We got the spark plug out of here now and um, to relieve the compression. And we still notice we could turn this flywheel around and it's moving freely. And all of a sudden, it gets like a binding and it hangs up. I'll show you. Okay, we're going smooth right now. Let's go. There you go. Now, all of a sudden, she binds up. This means right. We're able to turn it one time and, and it sticks. Don't know what's going. See, it's something is definitely sticking inside. And we don't know what it is. So, yeah, hear that. We're going to go ahead and remove this cowl. 
and get around here to the flywheel to see what might be stuck inside there, what might be sticking and hanging up. So anyways, we're probably going to have to take off the top cowl, I'm thinking, and the rest of this side cowl over here, and probably get this uh, grab bar out, out of the way too. So we're going to get down to business, tear this thing apart, and once I get it apart, we're going to come on right back to you. Welcome back. Here we are. Um, we got the cowl off and the flywheel exposed, and basically we pulled the plug out to relieve the compression. As we took it off, we noticed we have a chip tooth on the flywheel right there. What it feels like is something was hanging up in here. So I don't know if the flywheel tooth chipped, which we did find inside, and maybe got lodged somewhere underneath the flywheel or by the magnets, and that might have been what was holding it up. But as you can see right now, it's spinning free. Um, nothing's holding it up. So it's great compression. Gets nice compression. We took some compressed air and we blew everything out. We took all the chips and sawdust and blew out behind the flywheel and everything just to make sure there wasn't something else left in there sticking and holding it up. Um, I checked the flywheel. Just that tooth is chipped. There doesn't seem to be any cracks or anything else. It's a drag having it broke, but you know what? I'm not going to worry too much. I'm just going to see, you know, fire it up, see what goes on. And it should be just fine. I've had many that have had similar things and they're on forever. That's what it is. Or it flies apart and everyone gets killed. Not just kidding. That's just a joke. But now nah, it should be fine. Um, all right. So we're going to continue with this thing. Uh, I'm going to pull off this cowl to the other side. And we're going to look inside for, you know, just dirt and sawdust and whatnot. We're just going to clean it all out real good. And then what I think we're going to do after that is put this thing back together, pull it a few times, and check for spark. And we'll see, uh, well, we take all this, so there's some old gas in here. It smells like awful. So we'll pull this little gas out of here and take some fresh gas, put it in here. And if it stays free, we're going to give a couple rips on this thing and see if we get it going. We might. Or we might not. Either way, a lot of we're going to discover this together. And, uh, yeah. So, and uh, like I said, we're trying to put these projects up. First we did the truck alternator, now we're doing this. we got a ton of other stuff to do. we got some mini bike go-kart motors to go through, stuff like that. Um, more auto repair stuff. we got a 64 Thunderbird right there that we're going to restore That's later on baby. on the channel. And a uh, whole lot of stuff going on. Um, being that we're all under quarantine, we're all under together, we're going to try to put up content just to ease up everyone's life just a little bit. And basically... The three of us here have been in quarantine now for almost three weeks. That's my son. That's my uh, roommate who's doing the camera thing. Say hello, roommate. Hi. And uh, basically, we're just going to try to put up some content, make everybody's life feel a little bit better. You know, you can laugh at us. There's plenty to laugh at. So anyhow, uh, we're going to get back to this thing. We're going to pull this cowl out, clean the other side and all that. And one other thing, if you like this video, don't like this video, either way, just hit a like or dislike and subscribe to my channel if you like. There's going to be lots of things coming up, all kinds of neat stuff. Like I say, we rebuild, restore, repair, replenish, and I forgot my own slogan. Anything that is cool. Anyways, let's get back to this. I'm going to be right back with you all when we get this cow pulled off. Again, we pulled this cowl off the side, took off the chain, took off the, uh, what you may call it? The chain, actual saw piece. <laughs> yeah, the actual saw piece. I guess that's a professional name for it. Anyways, uh, yeah, just as we expected, this was full of, like, mucky, oily sawdust from the chain oiler. We cleaned it all off. We spared you guys the details. So we got, like, completely from head to toe covered in mucky icky, oily, gross, vintage sawdust. Anyways, we're going to put the sucker back together now, and, uh, well, then we're going to do a test for spark. If it sparks, we got to clean this old fuel out of the tank. I don't know what the hell it is, but it sure don't smell like fuel to me. It smells like old varnish, which is never a good thing. Anyways, we're going to put this uh, chain back on real quick, and here we go. Got to line the chain up inside the slots, like so. Pull that forward. We're rolling. Now make sure everything's in there where it belongs, just like so. Anyways, need that, that outside cover right there. Okay. 
bolt it in real quick. Well, I gotta put the bolt sides after the fact. Okay, we're gonna hold that. We throw this cover back on, like so. Hold on. Oh, you just gotta get that in there. Get that to see it in there the right way. Okay. It's gotta go. Chuck Casey. It's there it is. There just like so, just like that. Alright. Put one nut on here for now. Is on all the way, which it looks to be. Yep. Okay, case before chain we go, is do on. This, let's make sure that. Yeah, make sure this chain's how we want it to be. Okay, a little bit of play, I guess. I think that's about normal. Right. Get that on. All right, we have this thing all together. We were going to check for spark and such, and we started pulling the starter again. Everything was fine. All of a sudden, it locked up again. We couldn't figure out why. And then we looked through, and here's the culprit. Right in here, there's a piece Itty of screw, screw that was broken off, and it was coming out and getting stuck in the magnet of the flywheel and wedging up against the, the mag. Anyways, we found it where it is. We're going to take this thing out, and then we're going to try to start this thing. Oh, we'll be right back. Okay, here we are. We are back, and believe it or not, that little piece of wood screw somehow got lodged between the flywheel and the magneto, and it kept falling off and going behind the flywheel and sticking to the magnet. So we took it apart again. We pulled off the flywheel and found that behind there, and that's what was causing all the trouble. That's probably what caused this thing to be thrown out in the garbage in the first place. I think we got it. We're going to try to kick this thing over, try to get this thing started. Anyways, my buddy here, my son's going to pull on this starter real quick. We're going to see if we can get this thing to go. Yeah, but one tiny little screw. One so little my screw. pinky nail. Ah, uh, let's see. Can pull go. this choke out and see where we're at. Oh. Yeah, don't want to do that. Oh, oh no. she wants to. It's not held up anymore. Go on. Oh. oh, almost. There we go. Okay, man. There we go. Three ah. chains Thank you all so much. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to our channel. And come on back for the next project. But this baby is done.